Hello and welcome Exiles. Today I want to talk about Val Ice Shot specifically now that we got the new gem in Val. Now this is a little trailer they gave us of the skill. You spawn six Ice Shot clones and they shoot simultaneously when your character shoots. It's aesthetically cool. It has potential to be great damage. The important thing is what are the numbers on the gem and how would this imply power for an Ice Shot character? Now we just got the gem info and the gem info says the damage is pretty good. Basically, each of those ice shot clones shoot about half as powerful shots as your main ice shot. So if you have six clones, that is representative of 300% more damage, aka a lot of damage. Now, the important part here is this has a specific modifier that says additional projectiles do not affect the ice shot clones, aka this skill doesn't want you to min max into barrage support. Normally with a lot of bow skills, if you wanna do single target with that bow skill, you're forced into barrage support. It doesn't feel great and it's not really that much more damage than your alternatives, but it's enough more damage that you have to do it. This is a scenario where you, this says, don't do that, make your bow skill have good links that'll work while clearing and work while bossing. Especially now that we got plus two progs on the tree, you don't really need to go for a GMP or an LMP or something like that. You literally can just have good feeling clear without sacrificing any single target. Not only that, the skill has good uptime. The skill lasts for six seconds and its sold game prevention is eight seconds. That basically means you have a downtime of two seconds at base without any other special shenanigans like a triumvirate authority or reduce soul game prevention from the valve flask. Point is, this thing speaks like, hey, this will fix your single target. Without any special shenanigans, I think most bosses, you can spawn this and you will kill the boss within those six seconds. I think you'll have the damage for it, especially if you're getting Vengeance Cascade. And one note on Vengeance Cascade, from my experience, Vengeance Cascade would return projectiles to totems, and I think these Ice Shot clones will act similarly, aka Vengeance Cascade will work with an Ice Shot setup where you have one pierce, all your guys are piercing, and each of the projectiles that they shoot respectively will come back to them aka it'll pierce back through the boss they are shooting at so i think it's a lot of damage now what is the special case that i'm thinking of if i want to use this well it's pathfinder pathfinder to me got a massive buff this league and i think it looks really good for bow builds quite frankly because the plus two proj you don't really need it especially for something like ice shot where you don't want to necessarily min max i projectiles to the moon because you care about the val eye shot damage and the way this works is pretty simple you get it basically the best sustain in the game this master excuse me you get this master surgeon node which is basically the best sustain node in the game and then on top of that you get crazy flash sustain which represents damage you might look at pathfinder and think this node has this tree has no damage these nodes do represent damage and don't scoff at the small nodes these are the best small nodes in the entire game between these small nodes and this magic utility flask note here you have at least at bare minimum 50 percent flask effect you apply that to an onslaught that's another half value onslaught you apply that to a diamond flask that's another 50 percent crit chance you apply that to the suffixes on an onslaught flask like say you have 16 percent attack speed that's another eight percent attack speed it adds up especially when you consider you have four magic utility flasks quicksilver for like an extra 20 percent movement speed at base you add in all those suffixes, there is damage and there is huge quality of life here that isn't necessarily apparent to first glance at Pathfinder. And not only that, there is this cool new node, Master Alchemist. I'm actually really excited about this node specifically because one, it means you can get permanent flask uptime a lot, a lot easier with a reused flask setup. And you could go for the prefix on a flask that is 25% increased flask effect as well for even more flask power. And then you can combine all of this with one special flask that I think really changes the game for Val Ice Shot specifically, and that's Soul Ripper. This flask specifically allows you to generate your Val Souls. So say you do Val Ice Shot, you start hammering away at the boss, six seconds goes up, two seconds goes by, and you've gone through the soul game prevention. How do you get your Val Ice Shot back? This can do it. Basically, you need to get this thing to have a 40 charge cost and it will generate 40 souls, allowing you to click this flask and then press Val I shot again. Now, you might think 40 flask charges over eight seconds, that's a big number, but realistically, it actually isn't considering the amount of flash generation you can get from different sources. And specifically, there's also this right here, 50% chance to not use charges at all. This will gain you souls even when no charges are used. 
50% chance to use Soul Ripper for free. So maybe your character doesn't have perfect Soul Ripper generation uptime. Half the time, you will guaranteed get your Val Eye Shot back after the Soul Game Prevention has ended from, uh, from the Val Eye Shot. And that's a way you can just chain your Val Eye Shot clones. And then also, even if you don't hit this, the souls aren't really that hard to generate. In my opinion, I was playing a build specifically around this flask with Val Burning Arrow, where I was trying to generate 45 Val souls basically every two seconds because Val Burning Arrow's soul gain prevention was only like two seconds long. It was actually really short. So I had to, I did two flasks, uh, two soul rippers, and I was alternating, and it wasn't perfect, but it was really pretty close. And when you compare the fact I'm trying to generate souls in two seconds instead of eight seconds, well, I need one quarter of the generation to make this a realistic dream. And I think with the new Pathfinder node and the other stuff you have here, that is a realistic dream to have. All in all, Valhai Shot, I think, could be a really cool build. And it's a neat way to scale single target on a cool looking skill that isn't Barrage Support. It isn't Artillery Ballista. It isn't Tornado Shot. It's its own thing. And I think it's pretty cool. Right now, I gotta be honest, even though I made the League Star Guide for Holy Relic, I'm having a hard time remaining faithful. When Val Ice Shot gets released in that level of power level, and then not only that, there's some other builds that are just going around in my head, and then the Crucible Tree just got leaked on PUDB, and I'm having a hard time staying focused, I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably gonna make quite a few videos on a lot more of those things in the coming days. As always, thanks for watching, Exiles, and take care. Peace out.